What's up guys, I'm Damon Zell, and this is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing for character reviews. We're going to take a look at the characters in the game, what's great about them, how you can use them, everything that you need to know about it. And we're going to start off with a god-tier uncommon. Let's talk about it. Alright, so we're going to be starting to talk about characters, and I was told about this uh, character from one of the mods uh, over on the official Discord. I looked into him, I started playing with him, and my god, I was able to progress further using this character. He is somewhat of a god tier of an uncommon, and I am talking about none other than, let me pull him up here, let's go to the Codex. We are talking about the little frightened red cap, Lapaldi. That's right. Lapaldi is going to help you progress further in the game than you thought was possible. Right? I have him unlocked. This is obviously in the codex where we test him out at full level, full ascension, full level, full stars, everything. Fully maxed out gear. And basically what's going to happen with him, and the reason you want to use him is only for this skill right here. This is his uh, special skill, and it only costs one vigor. That's right. And with this ability, you are actually turning down the damage that you have incoming to your party by 40%. They heard me. 40%. I, I was getting crushed in the beginning of chapter 6, and I was having some hard time at the end of chapter 5. But as soon as I introduced him, and he was even, when I used him, about 10 levels lower than my entire team, and he was still able to negate a lot of the incoming damage that my team was taking. That works amazingly, and as you level up his skill, you'll be able to increase the level of turns that this uh, skill applies to. So let's go into the test skills. Now, the only unconventional thing about this character is that he starts, let's uh, turn this off, that he starts each turn with fear. It's part of his passives. Now, you can negate this passive by 20% once you level up that passive, which you will, we'll talk about after this. Uh, so, so, enjoy. now his is uh, basic, is nothing really to right home about it's basically it's doing damage to a single enemy and his damage is going to be defense based so equipment wise when we get to equipment you want to load him up on defense gear so as you can see here it's a double hit like most basics in the game now his ultimate is basically going to be damaged by defense it's going to uh as leveled up here it's going to hit two random enemies it's going to increase his evasion when it's fully maxed uh for two turns upon a critical strike. I believe it also... Uh, let's see. Because we're using the fire one right here. Let's see. Yeah, so we have a, we have that. And also, I think... I don't know, on, depending on the weapon, we'll get into that. I thought it, it, it applied taunt, but I could be wrong here. But what we're talking about right here is this skill right here. Because we're going to use this. I'm going to drop this down to one. Now, he's going to use this. He's going to taunt them, and now his uh, damage that he's going to be taking is basically uh, lowered by 40%. Now let's go into the real game here. Uh, I can show you what I have him built up to. I don't have him built up very high as of right now. This is just the Codex. Here we go. This is mine right here. He's level 36 right now. I am grinding him to get higher because I do need to get to that chapter 7. And as you can see here, these are his passives right here. And the first one is the Natural Born Coward. This is why he's going to come into battle with a self-applied fear. And it's going to trigger as soon as, the, uh, as soon as the battle starts. And it doesn't matter what wave you're on. If it's a multi-wave battle, the beginning of every wave, it's, uh, it's going to put this on him. Now, unleveled, it's going to have an 80% chance to apply fear. So, there is going to be that aspect of RNG when using him. But, when we do skill this up, it's going to bring it down by 20%. So, you're going to have a 60% chance to apply the fear to himself. 
His other passive gives a uh, marked up evasion. So he's going to be able to evade a lot of incoming damages. Now, and this is triggered by abnormal status. So basically, if he's got a debuff on him, such as the self-inflicted sphere, if you do use this, he's going to have a 40% chance to apply evasion increase 3 to himself for two turns. So yes, it's pretty good. I mean, it's you are using... Um, I'm sorry, that's, uh, that's, his, that's his passive. And as you level it up, it's going to, you know... Uh, Give it an activation rate of 10% higher, and it's going to bring down the cooldown time of that. But let's go into his uh, moves itself. Actually, that's his passives. Oh, to increase his passives, you're going to need the Earth Talisman from the Talisman Dungeon. Uh, this one is specifically Danu's Sanctuary. Now, I have not run this. Uh, actually, I may have run it the first time without even realizing it. Uh, but you're going to need five to bring it up. And when you are raising these passives, just remember, it is RNG. You cannot pick which one it's going to go to. It's just going to apply itself to one of these two passives. So, let's go to his uh, to his moves here. And here is his moves here. Now, uh, I have unlocked his uh, storm weapon. I have not unlocked his frost weapon. But the nice thing about him all of his skills are the same for each relic. So you don't have to worry about, like, Arthur's, he changes upon the relic, and a few others change upon the relic that you have. His will stay the same no matter which relic you're using. So if you have all of his relics unlocked, you just want to pick the one that's going to be the best aspect for the fight that you're going into. So let's go in skill ups here. Obviously, I do not have any more tomes. I was able to level up his uh, this one right here. Which is the damage? It's uh basically his AOE damage. Now, obviously, it's gone up by six percent total, and it's based on defense. I'm trying to get this one right here because I want to increase the amount of turns that this applies to. So it's like I said, it's random when you're using these skill books. I would suggest, unless you have a ton of extra shards that you're never going to use. I would just, you know, farm for the books themselves. Um, now, these right here you can get from uh, Daniel's Sanctuary, but you can also get it from uh, Luz Sanctuary as well. Now, I know I'm probably mispronouncing these, but you get where I'm going. But you're going to need, uh, on this weapon, you're going to need the Tome of Flame. But again, if you have his other relic available, you'll be able to use the Storm one. So, so let's just swap over here real quick. Skill level up. Now, I can do this right now. Uh, if I use this one, obviously it doesn't... When you're using these, it only goes for that specific relic. So I can't use the the leveled up version of that I have for his Flame Relic on his... Uh, Storm Relic. But let's go ahead and just skill this up, see what we get here. Nope, went right over to the passive 3. Passive 3 again. Uh, sorry, the skill uh, 3. There we go. Now we got it on his taunt. So every time I use this, it's going to apply it for 2, uh, sorry, for 3 turns total right now. Now, Weapon-wise, or sorry, equipment-wise, you want to kind of deck him out in defensive gear. He's going to get all of his stats from defense. Uh, so the higher you have his defense, the higher his abilities are going to react with that. So, so let's just take him into a fight real quick so you can see uh, how we work with him. Let's go into, let's go into a power-up dungeon. Let's use the Burning Land. Do a Goros fight here, Gorgos, and we'll do level 30. And this is the team I have currently right now. We probably could do the level 40 right now, but I don't want to give you guys another 20 minute video. So let's just go ahead and start this up. We are going to switch this. Yes, wind is going to be, you know, weak against fire. However, we are only using him for that decrease. Obviously, once you have that leveled up, you can use his uh, single be uh, weapons, sorry, his single attacks as well. Because the reason I want to use that special two is because it stacks. Yes. So if I use it one turn and, I, and I'm able to get it for three turns uh, because we have it leveled up, when I use it again, it's going to stack it again. So we're just going to just have continued um, defense you know, reduction of 40%. Now, again, with the fear, though, the only problem with the fear is sometimes he'll be too scared to use 
a move. Uh, we're going to try and get that off the, the jump here. Let's just bump this up to three and make it a little bit faster here. Uh, we don't need to, uh, you know, let's go ahead and just do that anyway. There we go. We're going to get the recovery. We're going to use this right here. Get those dots on, which obviously did not apply. And here we go. We're going to try this right now. Let's see if he gets feared. He was able to do it. And as you can see, we have it down for three turns for that damage reduction. All right, we're going to use this again. We're going to see if he cowers. Nope. There we go. And now we got the damage reduction again. And we're just going to keep using this so that we're always going to just have that damage reduction on. It makes fights a lot easier uh, depending on who you're fighting with. I'm using right now Anguish on Gorgos for the dots so that these dots will actually take the boss down faster. Oh, no, we don't use that one. Go ahead. Now, again, I'm just starting using these characters. So, obviously, I have not figured out every uh, minute detail on them every, you know, the, for the best dress because I haven't unlocked everything. But as of right now, if you're having trouble progressing further in the campaign uh, or just in general uh, and you were able to draw him, I would start using him right away. Now, there's also another uncommon that gives attack of 15%. Um, and... We're going to do another video on him down the road. So I hope you guys find this uh, information helpful for you. I hope this helps you progress further in your campaign and in your game. And uh, until I talk to you guys again, have a great week. Have a great weekend and have fun.